President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud was the immediate Somali president before Farmajo was elected in 2017. And now, President Hassan Sheikh is back in office again. What will he do now that he did not do, he did not manage to achieve previously? It is generally believed that experience is the best teacher and people learn through mistakes, their previous mistakes. But this may not necessarily be true with Hassan Sheikh Mohamud, the president of Somalia, the current president of Somalia. It may be too early to judge his performance only 70 days in office so far. In his previous administration, he made little progress in developing Somali institutions, for example, the security in institutions, the in food security, in drought and emergency, in legal and uh, social justice. All these institutions have not been developed previously. For example, uh, the security forces and, uh, and uh, most government workers were paid $100 per month. But now, when Farmajo came to be the president of Somalia, their salary was increased to above $300 per month. Now, that is a huge difference. Formaggio also established government institutions. He strengthened government institutions and put in place checks and balances to prove that governance, accountability, and the rule of law always prevails. In a nutshell, Formaggio, the previous president, put the country and the people of Somalia first as his number one priority. His achievement, President Farmajo's achievement, is undisputable across the board. Even his rivals and the people who oppose him acknowledge his contributions towards developing Somalia. Hassan Sheikh Mohamud, the current president, in his campaign manifesto talked about many things. For example, he talked about tackling insecurity in, and dealing with uh, severe droughts and also building trust in a country that is polarized by infighting between federal and regional governments. In his campaign, he coined a phrase that is widely used these days is called Somali at peace and at peace with the world. Somali Hoshisa Dunedene Hishisla. The question is, did he live up to his promises after 70 plus days in office or has he fallen short of public expectation? To put it differently, what is on President Hassan Sheikh's scorecard so far from the day he was sworn in to date? Has he made progress? Is there tangible progress that people can see? I think there is very little progress that President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed has so far achieved very little. He always finds himself in a difficult situation whenever he takes a step, whenever he makes a move, he finds himself in a very difficult situation. If we start with his foreign policy, you will find that he has changed direction from the way the previous regime handled difficult foreign policy. Farmajo believed that if you don't respect the Somali nation, 
the Somali nation will not work with you. Period. If you interfere with Somali internal affairs, Somali government will give you a break. For example, Kenya was believed and is still believed to be interfering with internal affairs of Somali government. So what happened? He banned the importation of multi-million dollar card trade between Kenya and Somalia. And he put it on hold for almost two years until President Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud was elected by the People's Assembly and he, he restarted the export of card to Somalia just one month ago. While Hassan Sheikh's approach in Somalia has in Somali affairs, he, he considers it. He his for his policy is uh, Somali government, Somali people have no enemy, and everyone is our friend. That is what he says. Notwithstanding the saying that says a friend to all is a friend to none. In reality, Hassan Sheikh is saying that uh, everyone who is our friend and we are friend to everyone. But that is not how international relations work. You work with allies and you have and the allies have opposing forces also who are working against them. You cannot say we are working with everyone and everyone is working for you. That's not how it works. So he's also his security approach is clearly geared towards weakening not only the country's security system, that is Somalia, for example, the spy agency and also Somali National Army has are facing serious challenges. For example, their 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 salaries are not being paid on time, and as compared to during Farmajo's uh, rule. So for the first time in five years, you see uh, Somali employees, including SNA, have not received their salaries in, in time. In fact, they have not received their salaries so far. In addition to that, President Hassan Sheikh's regime has announced that they are going to slash the, uh, the government's uh, salary, the government, the government workers' salaries by half including uh, the security forces. So you can see the challenges uh, the people are facing in, in, in Somalia right now. As a result of this, uh, Mogadishu and many parts of Somalia have become really unsafe for everyone. There is widespread mugging, the streets are unsafe, and this was not the case during Formajo's rule. I guess you've also heard about Al-Shabaab's incursion into Ethiopia territory, and this means that just like the buffer zone, um, buffer zone Kenya created 10, 10 plus years ago in Jubaland area, so will also Ethiopia do the same. This is not a positive step. It is like one step forward and two steps backwards for Somalia. Now there's another issue now um, after 70 plus days the government uh, is in power and the prime minister is yet to form his cabinet. This is uh, very serious because uh, the government is is uh, functionalized by by the government. Hamza Barre is yet to form his government and there is uh, a lot of rumors going around that uh, and uh, you know the, the, there is misunderstanding, there is lobbying, disagreement, and the standoffs between the different forces uh, in Somalia. So if this is how it has started, the signs are that it is not going to end very well. Tighten your seat belts and get prepared. That's what analysts are saying. So there, there is another issue. Somali now is a uh, very serious issue. Uh, Somali now is suffering the longest period of drought for more than 40 years. Seven million plus people are 
you know, suffering from uh, starvation and uh, half of the children are now malnourished in most parts of Somalia. With this kind of uh, governments, government in place, even if aid reaches Somalia now, there is little hope that humanitarian assistance will benefit those in dire need at the right time before the situation becomes even worse. Let's pray for the people of Somalia, especially those affected by drought.